in this segment, we'll go through rigging tectonic panels for a portable event using the tectonic rigging system. A tectonic rig can be flown from chain hoists or floor standing lifts. We'll be using lifts today. As a basic guideline, the tectonic rigging system can accommodate up to five tectonic panels in a single hang. The rigging component that is common to all tectonic rigs is the CTL connector tube. Two connector tubes are attached to the back of each tectonic panel to provide attachment points for all rigging elements. On PL12s, use the outermost rigging connection standoffs. PL11s have only one pair of connection standoffs. The first step in designing a live sound hang is to assess the venue for the depth and height of the space. Questions to ask include, how deep is the room? Is there a balcony or balconies to cover? What is the program material? Is it spoken word, medium impact music, or an all-out blazing concert? Answering these questions will determine how many panels to pull and mount. The next decision is how to cover the space with the selected number of panels by determining how to curve the hang. We're not really concerned with the coverage of the mid-range DMLs as they provide approximately 100 Hz to 6.5 kHz with a coverage pattern of 165 degrees horizontal by 165 degrees vertical and they don't interact destructively with the room. They're an audio fluorescent light and they act like one big continuous speaker. Our task is to manage the 120 degree horizontal by 15 degree vertical coverage of the high frequency ribbon which covers the range of 6.5 kHz on up. Eyeballs will guide you to a pretty quick solution. If you can see the middle section of a ribbon from where you are in the house, that particular panel is aimed for coverage. In addition to visual and listening checks, we recommend measuring alignment with a room analysis program such as Smart or SysTune. Experience over many hundreds of live gigs and installations has shown that the tectonic system is very forgiving to hang and aim. Every tectonic rig begins with an HS span bar. This can be connected to a chain hoist or in this case a floor mount lift. Start by attaching the span bar with load rated shackles or hooks. Next we'll attach a CGF center of gravity head to the span bar with load rated shackles. We use the center of gravity head to compensate for the curve of a hang by selecting from the available mounting holes to get the array to hang straight. A little bit of trial and experience will get the angle you need and you can dial it all in later with optional pullback points. Tectonic panels pack four to a road case. We call them toaster cases for obvious reasons. They pack a lot of speaker in a small space, which is a real money saver on tour budgets. They arrive in a box truck, not a semi-trailer, reduce labor costs, and make for a super quick load in and load out. Insert the tail of the center of gravity head into the connector tube of the first panel and pin it in place with our load rated QPL quick pins. With this connection made, we can raise the lift and pull the first panel out of the toaster case. With the first panel lifted, we'll move the toaster case out of the way, attach the front outriggers of the lift for safety, and raise the lift to get ready for the next panel. Now we need to pick CBL connector bars of the appropriate angle to build our hang. Connector bars are available in 0, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 15 degree angles. Each connector bar is labeled and color-coded for easy selection. To add the second panel, we'll use zero degree bars. Insert the connector bars into the bottom of the first panel's connector tubes and attach with quick pins. Lift the second panel up and guide the connector bars into the connector tubes. Take care to keep the panel level as you guide the bars into the tubes. Insert quick pins to fasten. Note that the angle of the hang may change as you add panels. At this point, it's a good idea to connect the speaker cables while they're still in reach. The tectonic panels use standard Neutrik NL4FC connectors. Adding additional panels continues in the same manner. Select the connector bar angles needed for the next panel, attach the connector bars into connector tubes with quick pins, 
connect speaker cables and continue to raise the lift. As an option if necessary, finish off the rig with a pair of EHL pullback points. These are handy to adjust the rig as needed and highly recommended for anchoring the hang in outdoor use as protection against wind. Insert pullback points into the bottom of the connector tubes of the bottom panel and fasten with quick pins. Attach load rated pullbacks or straps as needed. Breaking down the tectonic rig is simply a matter of doing everything in reverse. Begin by lowering the lift. Remove any pullback or anchor straps from the bottom eye hooks once strain has been relieved. Remove the eye hooks from the bottom panel by removing and restowing the quick pins into the connector bars. Support the first panel to unpin it and remove it. Be careful to keep the panel level as you lower and disconnect it. Continue to disconnect cabling, remove and stow rigging elements and panels while lowering the lift. Pack the panels back into the toaster cases and head off to the next gig.